Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. In this video, this is the last part of chapter 4 which is a maximum power transfer. Um, in practical situation uh, or practical application, we usually want to transfer a maximum power to the load. Okay, this can be um, resembled like in the circuit of tabernacle voltage in series with tabernacle resistance and attached with some load here. So in, in a practical situation like in a communication system, sometimes we want to maximum the power transfer to this load and with some known internal loss of this uh, tabernacle voltage and resistance we uh, can assume some uh, power, a maximum power transfer to this load. And what, what is this? This is basically we can do by um, varying the load resistance. So before that, um, maybe I, what I can say here, um, if you look at the current transfer to this load, uh, you know that current is equal to uh, this current here is basically equal to um, the, the the voltage, the Thevenin voltage divided by uh, resistance in series, which is RL plus RTH, RL plus RTH. So because of this because you want to find the power power is equal to iv you know that power equal to iv but how you relate to um to the current and the load so since v is equal to ir here so you have i um and ir here so you have i square r and this r basically the r here is the RL, R load. So that's why in this equation in the middle part here, uh, you can see that we have I square RL. Okay. And then uh, since we know that current is equal to VTH divided by RL plus RTH, then you can just substitute the current into this equation. So what you have here is basically the substitute of this current okay and then we we want to maximize if, if you look at the graph here we want to maximize the power transfer to the load so if you look at here this is power versus rl okay and at this peak at this maximum peak here what is this RL equal to? Okay, so here we want to find what is RL equal to. So uh, basically, you know that if you do this slope is coming from where? You know that this is some uh, the difference of RL and this part is the difference of uh, P, right? And the difference here is basically the the difference is equal to differentiation of power with respect to RL. And this is a positive region. And for this part on your right side here, this is differentiation P with respect to this RL. And this is a negative side. Okay. But what about if you have at this peak? At this peak. This peak is equal to uh, differentiation of power. Power here. Uh, with respect to the RL. But because there's no slope, then this is equal to zero. So what you want to do is you have the uh, p value right the p value so the p here is the power equal to i square rl 
and due to this you can do the differentiation of P uh, with respect to RL and then you equal it with 0 so what you have here you do the differentiation okay and this is what you're going to get do the differentiation uh, with respect to RL and equal it with 0 okay and after you do the math you will get this part and then uh, this part you can transfer it to this side including this part to this side and what left is only the uh, upper part here this part so that's why you will see this and then um, due to this part you can um, minus this part you have this okay so you rearrange this this is still equal to zero then rl is equal to rth this and basically here you know that at maximum power transfer to the load what is rl equal to rl is equal to rth okay so if you substitute this equation or this equation into the first one we have here rl equal to rth let me rub this one off rl equal to rth and this one also rth and what you will have here is vth uh, and this is 2 rth square with rth right so you have vth square and divide by 4 rth square into rth but this part you can cross it so what left is vth square divided by 4 rth and this is what is this this is the maximum power transfer to the load where, where is the load this load okay this load so uh, if you look at the equation here uh, this is the Thevenin voltage okay and this is the Thevenin resistance okay so these two is uh, important element that you need to in order for you to find the P maximum okay BTH square divided by 4 RTH this is equal to maximum power transfer for DC case this is only for DC case for AC case we're going to do others other way okay let's proceed with the example if you look at the question here you need to determine the value of RL determine the value of RL that will draw the maximum power transfer to the rest of the circuit shown which is this RL so this is the RL and this is A and B terminals um, okay and then you know that when maximum power is transferred to the load the R load is equal to RTH and you also know that at the P maximum or the maximum power is transferred uh, the equation will be VTH square divided by 4 RTH and obviously you need to do the uh, Thevenin equivalent system so what is your aim your aim is to find the RTH in series with the VTH so this is your aim and this is the terminal AB and this is your R load okay the R load at this point right so we go to our first uh, aim which is to find RTH yes you need to turn off all independent sources 
so you will have three here and this is turned off and you know that this is a and then yes you need to remove the load first the rl so there's a there and then you have two here and then you have negative and positive here then and then this is terminal B. And then, oh, by the way, this 10, you need to turn off. And then you have the resistor 5. And turn off the current source, so you need to open circuit there. And this is your R equivalent, which is equal to RTH looking from this side. You could you can reorder this form. Uh, this is three. This is A terminals, and this is two. This is B terminals, and you have five here. Okay, and then obviously uh, this five and three. Uh, five and three are in series, so you can plus these two and do the parallel rules with the two there so this is equal to 1.6 okay uh, which is also equal to rl and then second you're going to find r vth turbulent voltage uh, the load you need to remove and then you have the three the rest of the circuit yes you need to keep as it is this is 20 and then you have this A here and yeah when you remove the load this will become an open circuit this is 2 uh, make sure you have the right um, polarity copied to your circuit and then you have two here a5 and then this is the current source going to this direction I just rearranged it so that uh, this one will become uh, the one you familiar with okay the open circuit is equal to driver voltage all right, and then you reorder or you do the source transformation. You will have this is 3, 20. And then since they are in series, you can do the, uh, you can do the source transformation. This is 2. This is 10. This is A and B plus minus V T H here okay like this and what is the voltage source uh, since this is 6 6 into 5 you get 30 volt okay and then you can do you can combine because you are in series a resistor you can add this is A 8 and this is uh, minus here plus here this is 50 10 and 2 here this is A and B and you know that this is positive minus BTH you can apply um, mesh analysis since they are much uh, better to solve using mesh so this is I1 and this is I2 since I2 is an open circuit, so I2 is equal to 0. So you can have a KVL around, around the I1. Um, have negative 50 plus 8 I1. And then plus 2. 2 I1 minus I2. And then minus 
then equal to zero and since i2 is equal to zero then you can rearrange this you have minus 60 um, and put it on the right side so this is positive and then this is 10 i1 so i1 divided by 10 it will become 6 ampere all right then kvl at i2 you have a 10 plus 2 i2 minus i1 and then plus vth equal to 0 since i2 is equal to 0 and i1 is equal to 6 you can substitute this bth is equal to negative 10 negative 10 this is 0 and then minus 12 and this is plus 12 hmm. so it's equal to 2 uh, volt okay and what is the p maximum p maximum is equal to bth uh, bth square divided by 4 rth rth is equal to 1.6 then you do the math 1.6 into 4 4 divided by this so 0 0.625 or 6 to 5 milliwatt okay so maximum power is transferred to the load which is equal to 6 to 5 milliwatt and the R load is equal to 1.6 okay this answer and this answer okay so this one should include two square there okay i think that's all thank you